hopefully it keeps growing. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Driving back from work and uh, well, it is still not that nice out. Actually, tomorrow's supposed to get worse. We're supposed to get winds, 30 mile an hour winds, 50 mile an hour gusts. My plan was to split the 75-20, uh, at least get further along on it. But I don't think I'm gonna wanna sit around in the, it's misting. Just enough to make it for a wet day to work in the outside shop. So, I guess maybe we'll swing over, look at some seedings. Uh, we checked them out, what, seven days ago? Uh, we might as well check them out again and see see how much they've uh, progressed. So, appreciate you guys watching along. A little update of what's going on. A little update. Things are looking good. So you can see all the fescue and clover growing up in between it. Yeah, the landscapers drive right through here. So, that's what they do. But, I'm very happy with how it looks figured we'd stop over do a little walk up we are supposed to get like three inches of rain <sighs> been a wet year but you can see the good hint of green all through it definitely made it better running over it with ooh, that looks good running over it with the rolling baskets after looks nice and smooth packs it in a little bit more yeah very content with that a lot of people ask why fescue and clover we're gonna have to ask our nutritionist that he likes how it grows um he likes the feed quality out of it we don't grow alfalfa because uh winter kill is a huge part of it but we do have some sandier ground i might start putting some alfalfa in i don't know we'll see but as far as this seeding, this has been my best fall of seeding so far. You can see it's green all throughout that. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up as good, but yeah, so. Get you right in. That's fescue. And there's some clover. And honestly, there's a few little weeds, but overall the fescue will catch up and get ahead of it. And this was ground that, like even the sandier stuff right here. This was ground that was dissed and didn't, well, it didn't grow this spring, so I redissed it and seeded into it two ways. So, very content with the coverage and how well it's going to grow up through. So, figured I'd give you guys an update on that. But yeah, fescue and clover dry down things like that it works really well for us uh alfalfa i know there's low low lignin alfalfa now and that's supposed to be a big game changer um but as far as the stem side and leaf loss and drying stuff like that raking alfalfa so i don't know go with by a lot of what the nutritionist says and i'd like to get them on the channel one time and yeah I guess if you got nutrition questions of why we do th the things we do, drop them there and I could ask them as we, at some point when we get them on the channel. But happy, very happy and content with this. Yeah, hopefully it keeps growing. I take it my seating's about the same. We did run that rolling basket through the middle uh, where I left off and I think that might be a heavy seed rate. I'll show you down here what it looks like when you seed too heavy. But this is all growing very well. And this rain that we're supposed to get, it might help some of it. Hopefully it's not too, too heavy. We don't need a heavy downpour. We were, things actually were kind of drying down some, which was nice for a change. But you can see my rate got heavy and it gets really green. That's not actually good at the end of the day because it just chokes itself out. Um, we're not growing a lawn. So you can see like right here, that's all way heavy. So 
Same with down in the bottom. I did overlap some here. Like this. <laughs> There's fisk and clover growing at a high rate. Plus it's not cost efficient to grow at that. Um, 20 pounds of fescue, seven pounds of clover, seven, eight pounds of clover is what we were aiming for. And I'd say we definitely got it here. Well, alrighty. I think I'm gonna do an update when I get back to the farm or my house. But that gives you an update on some of the seeding. In the meantime, since yeah, as you see, it's a nasty day. It slowed down sprinkling, but working outside in this, trying to wrench is not really that much fun. But we'll get on. Uh... You ready to go home? I guess we should go check if the geese are over eating our cover crop. There was a lot of conversation of cover crop. Um, yeah, and somebody says it's called triticale. Everybody, 95% of the people I know call it triticale. That's what we go with. But I think the official name is triticale, like you said. Um, alrighty. We'll jump out of here. Yeah, definitely just... We've had such good fall weather that I can't even complain about some rainy days. It is going to get 30 to 50 mile an hour winds, so... Alrighty.